Hello. Oh, 31.13. Got time in next. I think I mentioned before that once I get past um, below an hour of phone memory um, on the video, it actually tells me you know, how much it counts it down, which is very useful. It's a feature I appreciate. Um, but anyway, box. Yes, it's our old friend Geek Gear. And this is the first time I've gotten one of the new designed boxes. And this is wizardry. That's what they're just calling it now. It's not World of Wizardry, it's just wizardry. Um, and they do actually come in four colours. So it is, you know, red, yellow, green, or blue, uh, depending on your house choice. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's a real nice shade of blue, actually. And there's like little spots on it for some reason. Um, so yes, it's still got the, the pull tab because even on the um, even on the website they admitted like yes we know it's the best part. Um, so that that arrived today. So we're going to open it in a minute. Um, it, if you're a new subscriber, it is twenty five pounds on the website now, um, but it's, it almost always doubles up the prices. So if you've watched these previous videos or anyone else's unboxing, either specifically for the Wizarding World or the other general geekery stuff they do. Um, the value is almost always there. I say it's 25 pounds on the website because so far on my subscription, which I've had for a while now, um, I've been getting these boxes longer than I've been showing them to you guys. Um, I'm, you know, as of my last statement of saying, hey, we renewed your subscription, it's still 20 pounds for me plus postage. So, um, yay me. <laughs> But yeah, if you're a new subscriber, it'll be 25, so, sorry. <laughs> I, mean, I still think it's worth it for 25, but the fact that I'm still paying 20, 22 at the moment is um, good for me. Sorry, not really. But yeah, so um, 25 pounds, but I'm paying slightly less for reasons I don't know. I mean, the only theory I might have is because um, there was a problem with the pins um, at the beginning of the year when we had the harsh winter. Uh, I think it was like the harsh winter and they get them from China so that it's like we had a, a hard winter plus Chinese New Year and it kind of combined and um, as kind of an apology they did say that you know for loyal subscribers we're going to give you a discount on future boxes but I just assumed that meant a future box like the next month would be discounted but I don't know I mean it's the best theory I've got so either it's because of my loyalty or just because they um as an apology or just they've forgotten to change my price don't tell them don't tell them I'm still paying <laughs> I want paying okay but anyway let's do the best bit <laughs> oh yeah that's good that is good alrighty then let's see what we've got today um there's normally like clues or something but I can't remember what the clue was so um Let's have a look see. So we've got the blue tissue paper, which I like. Oh yes, that's what the clue was. Um, and the clue relates to the t-shirt, um, which is rather lovely. Ready? <sighs> Steady. Ooh, look at that. Um, it seems to be the trend that, um, there we go. It seems to be the trend that the clue or at least the first clue, seems to relate um, to the t-shirt art, which I don't have a problem with. Um, look at that, that is some nice detailing on that. That is really pretty. Um, I actually have a Hedwig um, plushie. Uh, a friend bought it for me, oh good few years ago now. Um, maybe I should bring him in here and stick him with forks. Uh, he's in the bedroom at the moment, but I should probably Hang, let, let him hang out with forks so they, um, the, the two can hang out. Forks is still up there. So yeah, but yeah, like that. Um, and yeah, I said the trend seems to be that the clue relates to the, um, um, the, yeah, the t-shirt. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I haven't had a job interview today. Um, so this, sorry, sorry it's rattling. Sorry if you've got headphones. Um, let me just do this as quick as I can. There you go. Uh, this is something that seems to be training towards a lot as well. A cushion cover. Um, and as you can see, oh that is shiny. Uh, yeah, it's, um, I've had the, if you remember last month, I had a, a t-shirt with this kind of design on it. So, lots of 
mask. I still haven't done anything with those Predator Alien cushion covers because of the, it's a particular size of cushion. Like we have these flat cushion of fat. I can uh, show you. We used to have these really well. Technically, we still have them, but those these really horrible animal print ones. So I thought, oh, that's where the cushions can go, cushion covers can go. But we don't actually have as many of these. We have like a couple of them, and they're the nice flat ones. Um, it looks bigger. I don't think it is. No, nah, not really. It's not, it's not any bigger. Um, so yeah, I might put that one up because I've got obviously my Raven Claw. Uh, I've got a Gryffindor because it came in a uh, goodie, like a, a past items box where I can didn't choose the house, it was just random stuff. And then um, and then this one, which would be nice to add to the collection, but I need the extra right size cushion to do with it. There's no good doing it with a, a fat cushion or one that I actually like. So there's that. Ooh, okay. What to go next? What to go next? Uh this one. Oh cool. Alright. Fair enough. Includes a collectible sticker. Nice. Um again, Ratley, sorry. It is, oh that's nice, it is a lanyard, um, there we go, so, uh, it's supposed to be, the, the official colours, it's a bit weird, the official colours in the novel are um, blue and bronze, but the official colours in the movie are blue and silver, um, so this is very cool, and that looks more like a crow than, but yes, yeah, so we've got the birds on one side, um, Ravenclaw on the other, which is very nice. Um, obviously, snap release, and then it has the uh, quick release here. So I'm not sure why you'd necessarily need to snap release it, but look at that comes with a nice little um, badge as well, like a keyring thing, which I'll, I'll leave attached because it's quite smart. And then I'm guessing uh, that that is my sticker. So yeah, it, it's a lanyard. Um, oh, it smells, that smells very plastic. -y. Yeah, I guess that's a sticker. Um, yeah, so it's a um, a lanyard with an actual pocket, um, card pocket for use. I actually already have one of these. Um, not this design, obviously. Um, I I can't remember if I got it in a Geek Gear or just another um, box. I'll have to show you my um, lanyards collection one day. It's kind of crazy. You know what? Sod it. Sod it. Come on. <sighs> um, come with me. Graphic novels. Um, where are we? Yes, here we are. Um, lanyards. Uh, lots of lots of lanyards. And here is my. Sorry, it's a bit backlit because that's where the window is. But yeah, I have lots of lanyards. Some from college. So I'm not, and then this is the one I had previously. Actually, it will tell me if it's... Yeah, yeah, it was Geek Gear as well. So this is how long I've been with Geek Gear. I'm getting uh, doubles of other items, but, you know, in a different design. And I'm fine with that. You know, it's nice to sort of mix it up now and again. Um, so yeah. A, um, a new... Well, obviously, the um, this one will hang up there with the others. So a new uh, Ravenclaw lanyard to go on my other Ravenclaw lanyard, and now we're wonky. There you go. So impromptu tour again. Always nice when we get to walk around. Uh, this one. I don't know. I have kept previously their um, other boxes. Um, we, we would have seen where they did like it was designed like Madame Malkin's and the quibbler and stuff where the box was designed to match the item now it's this i think i don't know if this is going to trend it's going to continue this is very pretty it's a nice design box and obviously it's not a clue to what's inside which the other one was but i quite like the fact that you got the little boxes with sort of wizarding world designs on them to say hey this thing's from this and i actually kept those boxes because i thought they were very cute um so this is nice but my preference would be to to keep doing the um, actually exclusive design boxes, which I can understand if they can't always des get a design for it, but um, you know, I like collecting the little boxes. But then we have no idea what this is. Ooh, it looks like more Death Eater stuff. I was Death Eater the other clue, and I just I didn't see it. Oh wow, is this a scarf? 
Um, it seems a bit odd that I am... Um, sorry, I'm looking for the thingy. There it is. It seems a bit odd that I got the Death Eater t-shirt one week or one month and then... Oh, wait on. The next month I'm getting more Death Eater stuff. I'm not sure... Okay, good and bad with this. One, yes it is a scarf. Two, it's like a polyester material. Um, which is basically not as soft as I like. It kind of... You know how sometimes you touch something and your whole body goes, yeah. Um, I've just done that. Um, I like it. I do quite like it. I mean, I might not actually wear it as a scarf. I mean, you know, we could sort of and do something with it but um yeah the material kind of makes my skin go a little crazy but you know i'm thinking you know like i scooch it in the middle and you know like kind of as a, like a, a ribbony display thing maybe so with that but as you can see it is like a nice it's, it, the design is well the same as the cushion so maybe, I don't know, maybe if I do it, um, do the cushion, find a cover for it, I'll uh, make some kind of display piece for it. Um, it's, it is cool, it's a nice design, it's just the material's a bit... Maybe once, maybe if I give it a wash it will be, um, might soften it up a bit. Yeah, there's no care label, so it doesn't actually say what it's made of. It smells right there. So that's that. Nice design, just the material's not quite for me. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's a wand because they're always in this design. I'm getting so many ones now. I've got like running... Ooh! I'm running out of room to keep them in. That is nice! Um, I don't know whose that is. They've always been somebody's. Uh, I don't immediately recognise that one. So, uh, again, you know, sort of... Like, oh, that feels quite good. But that works as good as a back scratcher. Um, yeah, I like that. That's a, that's a funky one. Um, we'll look who that, up who that is in a minute. Um, today's recipe cards. Oh, cool. Cauldron cupcakes. With a couple of different methods for doing it. I like that. They, they give you the recipe cards and then give you a couple of different options for how you want to do it. So we've guilt. Cauldron cupcake, which looks really yummy. And then... <laughs> spicy love potion. Um, recipe type syrup. So strawberries ginger, black peppercorns, granulated sugar, citric acid, and then water. And you get a lovely pink potion-y thing. Obviously it's not alcoholic because, you know, children. Um, but I'm guessing... I'm, I'm guessing there's no reason you couldn't, like, put a shot of whatever you like in it, you know, if it's not too strong a flavour. I mean, if it's about the flavour of this, then vodka would probably be your best option because it won't affect it. But... Obviously, as long as you're the legal drinking age for the country in which you're in, I wouldn't want to encourage underage drinking. Um, the piece of paper that tells me how much everything is. And then, oh, there we go. I'm starting to think that I'm not the only one who's completely in love with this character because I've been getting a lot of stuff for her. And this, again, is bloody gorgeous. An actual photo. Much as the um, doll I had before. So apparently I'm not the only one in love with Luna because otherwise there wouldn't be quite as much stuff. It seems to be more Luna and Snape. We had that um, Lupin t-shirt the other month. But it seems to be like Lupin, uh, Luna and Snape over the Golden Three. I've gotten barely any Harry, um, Hermione or Ron type stuff. So not that it's a bad thing. I mean, I've got that undesirable poster and stuff like that. But lots of Luna. I like Luna. This an actual photograph. So I'm not sure what I actually do with this apart from keeping it nice. Um, I... If I was, you know, obviously I've not had a chance to put any of it up yet because limited on wall space, but um, I'm more inclined to put the original artworks up than the actual the photo posters. But it's a very nice picture. Um, and I look, I did look up her name, it's um, Ivana Lynch. There you go, so nice picture of Ivana Lynch as Luna Lovegood. See? I know stuff. So let's see what we're added up to. So. Exclusive Sinister Scarf. It's Yep, yeah, um, it's exclusive design. Uh, the wand, uh, high quality handcraft painted wand, comes with iron core, stability, 
So it doesn't say whose it is. Obviously the lanyards to put our oh, house exclusives, the cushion cover, the lion print is exclusive and the t-shirts are tenor. So 20, 20 for the t-shirt and cushion cover, scarf and wand are 24, so we're at 44 now. Five are for the print, so 58 all in all. There you go, so and there's the obviously the variant colours and the pictures. So yeah, it's about 55 quid's worth of stuff for £25 if you're a new subscriber. Um, they've actually really stripped down the, the card, it's not as much on here anymore. Uh, next month's box hint is that, so I'm guessing prongs or some kind of Patronus thing. And who's our lovely lady today? This month's featured YouTube is... Is on a tra is is on the run? Is it on the is Issa on the run? Blech, words. And there's there's the lovely Issa on the run. Uh, there's no actual pictures. That's what I was looking for. So we've got the YouTuber, well done you, but not not a picture of another person. So there you go. There's my review of both the box items and the actual loop itself. If you hang five for a second. Um, do 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 do. Because I have this. Um, I got this from Asda, I think £12, and it's uh, 23 I can't probably see that. But. So, if you indulge me for a moment, this is rather gorgeous. Look at that. Um, I'm going to flick through as fast as I can and see if I can find out who the one that is. Um, so we've got History of the Wand Makers. It's a really lovely book. If you can get a hold of a copy, I think it's it's a relatively new book. One Selections at Ollivanders. Um, techniques. Wand Battles. The Wands. Harry. Ron, who's had two. Hermione was the first one with the things on it. Neville. Ah, there we go. That didn't take long. Um, cool. We found it. <coughs> so there it is. Um, obviously, our version, well, my version is a lot straighter because Iron Core. Slightly wobbly there, but that is definitely that. So, you know, it's not exactly movie um, perfect, but I still like it. I still think it's very cool. Um, it feels good holding it. And it is... Dun, 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 Fred Weasley! Should we see what it says about Fred? Uh, Fred Weasley, twin brother of George Weasley, always knew that he and his brother were destined for future outside the world of academic achievement. If their hijinks are... If there are hijinks to be had, Fred and oh, if there are hijinks to be had, Fred and his prankster twin are guaranteed to have them and profit. These entrepreneurial Gryffindor founded Weasley Wizard Weezers in Diagon Alley. Actor James Phelps gets a lot of laughs um, over the practical joke Joker aspect, aspects of his, of the brothers, especially on the Harry Potter film set. We can get away with things we wouldn't normally do and just say we're in character or something. Fred Wands supports a long pine cone handle with a few woody knobs on its shaft. With woody knobs on its shaft. You know, see that? Is that in focus? So there you go. So maybe we'll get George's um, wand next time. Um, why is there a big circle? There's a big... Maybe it's just the, um, yeah, maybe it's the pictures. It's kind of slightly indented its way through. But yeah, this is a really great book, by the way. So I didn't mean this to turn into an impromptu um, book review as well. Where is it? There's um, got Ginny, so we've got all the Weasleys. Draco. Luna's had two. Hmm. Um, well, that they forgot what it looked like. I'm trying to find Hagrid's because they did think quite cool with that. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, Death Eater. Well, since we're since it's kind of the unofficial theme of the 
um, box. There we go. <coughs> Death Eaters model there. Really nice picture of, over the school. And then yeah, it folds out. So we've got this. So there's like this fold out and then Hagrid's. Um, but yeah, uh, there we go. So yeah, Harry Potter, the one collection is a book that I've had for a little while and it is official like Warner Brother Titan books. Um, yeah, really, really gorgeous book. I really like it. And it means I get to find out whose wand is whose because the book didn't tell me. But anyway, this has been going on for just over 20 minutes now. Um, thank you for watching, especially if you stuck through when I was looking for the book. But yeah, uh, favourite item? Probably the wand, because I always like the wand. And the t-shirt is gorgeous. There we go. Um, but, you know, the, the scarf is nice. It's just the material is not quite for me. The cushion cover is really nice as well. I might do something with those to make them like a display piece. Um, but otherwise, yes! And the lanyard is obviously very cool because lanyards. Um, so yeah, that's that's my review of my box. That didn't come out right. Um, but that's the this month's Wizardry World, or just Wizardry box from Geek Gear. Um, thank you for watching, especially if you're all the way to the end listening to me ramble. I appreciate it. You're awesome. I will not have anything said otherwise. So thanks for watching. I've been Michelle. You've been listening. And I will see you next time. Bye.